funny. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm using the same palette as I did the last one. Bam! Bam! I'm so in love with this palette. So anyways, I went for a more like sunsetty orange and burgundies kind of look. So and a whole lot of highlight. So if you wanted to see how I accomplished this look, then please keep on watching. I don't like to make my intros real long, but however my videos be so long. So we're gonna work on that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. I didn't realize I bought my head back and forth that much when I talk. That is really annoying to watch. So first, as usual, we're gonna start off with eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and using the associated angled brush that comes with it with the spoolie on the other end. Now we're gonna apply the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer and I'm using a concealer brush to blend it out. Next, I'm going to use the LA Colors um, Powder Concealer Palette. I'm sure that's not the correct name for it, um, but I'm using this to set my concealer. I'm using the it was the light shade and the kind of tan shade. So now I'm applying the Hourglass number 28 serum over the dry patches of my face. I tend to get dry around my nose area, so that's where I'm applying it. And then next we're going to prime the eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, this is a holy grail of mine. I had stepped away from it and now I'm back. And I'm using a concealer brush to apply this. Next, we're going to set the primer with the Lorac Blanc eyeshadow. And then next, we're going to go into my favorite palette for right now, the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. And um, this is like a... It's like a dark orangey wine mixture kind of shade. I'm putting this in my crease and using this as my transition color. And my videos would not be complete without a dance break. Come on, get it together, Tiffany. shade it's on the same color and slightly darker and I'm using this to create and add depth to my crease and what brush is this this is the Morphe brush I believe it's the 505 brush that I'm using the M505 brush to blend it out in my crease so I'm going to go a shade even darker, gravitating towards wine shade. I love that shade. And I'm using, this doesn't have a name, but the brush, it's a shader brush and it's so cute. I love it. It resembles, or I think it's supposed to mimic like a Harry Potter theme brushes. It was so cute. So I'm going back in with that Morphe brush and I'm going to blend out that wine shade that I just put in and I'm creating a halo eye. And what that is, is you put darker shade on the inner corner and the outer crease, and then you put some kind of glitter or shimmer um, right in the middle where your eye sits. Now I'm just deepening it up and adding more color and more color on top. Each layer, before I add more color, I'm blending it out with that Morphe brush and then going back in with the shader brush. So next I'm going to take those two colors that I just pointed to and I'm going to blend that in my crease or correction above my crease to blend out that harsh line. 
And now it is time for glitter. So I'm gonna put that orangey shimmer glitter kind of shade. I'm putting it on with my finger because the best that's the best way for me to apply it. And then I'm spraying my finger with Fix Plus, which makes it look wet and makes it pop even more. <laughs> gonna go in with that wine shimmer and what I'm doing is I'm blending out that kind of orange shimmer that I just put on and I want to blend that into my halo the inner corner and the outer crease <laughs> going in with a Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and I'm putting this um, where my pores are most large at and noticeable and then I'm going to apply my MAC Cosmetics NC44, I said that backwards, MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid in NC44 and then I'm going to blend this out with a Makeup Addiction um, makeup sponge. I tried the stippling brush at first, but it wasn't as effective as my sponge, so I go back to that. parts i'm using the tarte cosmetics shape tape concealer and i'm also using the la girl warm honey concealer to get my perfect concealer shade and then i am blending this out with that same makeup addiction sponge ah! <laughs> Mercier as usual translucent powder and I'm patting this in with the makeup addiction sponge as well versus using a brush to swipe it away I want to really pack it in and set that concealer in place next we're going to go in with my contour and for that I'm using the LA girl two shades one of this beautiful bronze and I believe the other one is cocoa and this was a tad too dark for me you'll see so in order to combat that I went in with more of the beautiful bronze towards the end to kind of blend that into the the cocoa which was way too dark for me so I don't want it to look muddy and that's what it started to look like so to combat that I went in with a lighter shade to blend that in <laughs> that contour so Laura Mercier translucent powder again and I'm slicing the contour with my makeup addiction sponge and I'm just gonna let that bake and sit and chill while I put on my blush which I am using Pacifica Beauty and tenderhearted no I'm sorry that's not blush yet that's um, setting my contour so I'm sorry setting my contour with the Bobbi Brown um, blush and bronzer duo 
Now I'm going in with blush. Tenderhearted, Pacifica Beauty, Dance Break. I take way too many of those. So I'm going in with my Luxie brush and blending out this, um, this blush. And then I'm going to go in with a face brush afterward to wipe away that translucent powder that I put in for my contour. Cosmetics lip liner. I said that backwards. I'm going in with World Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics and I'm using that as to line my lips. And then I'm going with my usual duo, Anastasia Beverly Hills Stripped. And then I believe, yeah, Bare Minerals 24 Carat is going to be on top, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous gloss that has the perfect amount of shimmer. You know, you have, I know you've seen where um, some artists put the highlight on their lips. Well, this lip gloss does that for you. Now I'm going to place um, a light shimmery shade on my inner corner to make it pop and to make it stand out more. And then I'm going to apply that same wine color, that dark wine color on my lower lash line and then blend it out with a pencil brush um, using the transition shade color. And now I'm going to go in with some mascara to pop onto my lower lash line. This is from Tarte Cosmetics. I believe it's Lights Camera Action Line, I think. Don't quote me on that. And then now I'm going in with the Bare Minerals uh, 24 karat lip gloss. And then this look is complete. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.